Hello everyone. Welcome to the first Advent meditation at the manual in 2020. In Isaiah 40, second Isaiah, one of the famous Advent readings, uh, we hear these words, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. This, uh, these passages, except for preparing the way of the Lord and making straight in the desert a highway for our God, are in the future tense. Every valley shall be lifted up. In the future, every hill be made low. The uneven ground shall in the future become a plain and level, and the rough places will be plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together sometime in the future. We prepare an Advent in anticipation of God's presence and comfort in the Christ child coming. But how do we prepare for an event in the future? Many of us these days have been saying, well, when the vaccine comes, when we can come out again, when we can be together. How do we actively wait and wait well? As I will for each of these Wednesday Advent meditations, I'll give you an image, a poem, scripture, and a question for you to ponder, a way to actively wait. Today, this image by Marcy Brake, our, one of our glorious artists at Emmanuel, uh, has done this painting of an apple tree. And here is the apple. The apple tree is another famous Advent image that represents Jesus Christ. And we sang this past Sunday, the four of us, Jesus Christ, the apple tree, a well-known medieval anthem. The apple represents and fruit and many things that grow, uh, the necessity of waiting for it to ripen. David White, who's a poet I've been spending a lot of time with during this pandemic, once saw an apple hanging on a tree as winter approached. And he wrote uh, this poem that I've given you, uh, Winter Apple. And I'd like to read it for you now as you look at this painting, The Apple Tree. Let the apple ripen on the branch beyond your need to take it down. Let the coolness of autumn and the breathing, blowing wind test its adherence to endurance. Let the others fall. Wait longer than you would. Go against yourself. Find the pale nobility of quiet that ripening demands. Let winter come and the first frost threaten, and then wake one morning to see the breath of winter has haloed its redness with light. So that a full two months after you should have taken the apple down, you hold it in your closed hand at last and bite into the cool sweetness spread evenly through every single atom of a pale and yielding structure so that you taste on that cold gray day, not only the after reward of pa a patience remembered, not only the summer sunlight of a postponed perfection, but the sweet inner stillness of the thing itself. What invitation are you receiving this Advent 
to prepare for a future event sometime away. Your invitation that comes to you might be something visible, like an apple, or it may be invisible, an emotion, a relationship, a goal. Some of that invitation, Advent invitation, to actively prepare for a future event may be a small thing, and some may be a major life moment. What is ripening right before your eyes, but not yet ready to be picked? For me, a small visible piece might be swimming in a swimming pool, swimming laps once again, eating and being together with a large group of friends or family, traveling somewhere I love on vacation. Those are visible things, preparing for in the future. And there are also invisible things that I'm pondering this Advent. Is it time for a new way of church? What am I called to do in these next years? How do I continue my relationship with my children and grandchildren? In order to do this, winter must come and I must let things as they are radically be alone until the time of ripening comes. For now, I can try to name what I am waiting to ripen. As we think of the apple tree, what is ripening right before your eyes, but not ready to be picked yet?